introduction of flow magic conditional branching. So just to remind you, we turn a deck as flow magic here in the details section. Looking at this deck, um, the, the, the mistake that people often make that I want to help prevent by showing this again is when you make a button and you drag it down, it by default is marked as a correct answer. And in Flow Magic, we don't want our just our next and linked and navigational buttons to necessarily be correct. Sometimes they're answers, sometimes they're navigation. If they're just a navigation button, please make sure it's not a correct answer or a wrong answer, because um, you'll create funny things in the report and you'll get you'll get behavior that you don't expect and you don't necessarily want. So when we're making a next button, we link to and away we go. Now if we preview this, when we tap it, we're not going to get a ping, it's not going to mark it as right or wrong, and it's simply going to do the navigation. Now in our sample, I just want to show you what you can already do. You can already mark these as right or wrong answers, and when you tap them, they get scored, that was wrong, and when you tap this, it gets marked correct, and it auto advances, which is great. Um, and we could have, if we'd wanted to, let's go to this, uh, so this is not conditional branching, uh, this is just branching. So this one, if you tap it, it will link to the next card and it will mark the thing as wrong, uh, correct. If you tap this, it will mark it as wrong and it won't link anywhere. If you wanted it to link to a, hey, you got something wrong, we could actually do that. We could drop a link in here and say, you know, give them a hint and link to this, you know, sorry, you got the wrong answer. Um, give, the, give the user a hint. Well, let's move on now to the actual new feature, which is the conditional branching. And this is really cool. This is, uh, answers some uh, scenarios that a number of authors have been confronted with. Uh, a card with more than one answer uh, because they, whoops, let's preview and see what this looks like. So. I ask the student a question and they're supposed to select all the correct answers. So I can't just advance. So in the past what we've said is you know, use the submit button um, to score it and then have a next button. And that was really weird because if the student hit the, didn't hit the submit button, then it didn't properly get graded and then they just advance and it, it just wasn't a great workaround. So now let's say the student's filling this out and they think, yeah, I think those are the right answers and they can hit the submit button or they hit the next button that's put here. And because we have conditional branching, it's telling us we got something wrong. It's giving us a hint, sorry, it's wrong. And then it's telling us to navigate back and try again. And now we can go, uh, yeah, we go, I think that's the right thing. And when we submit this, we got it scored correctly and we advanced and um, we get this great different feedback. So let's see how that was actually implemented. So. What we said is, these are all buttons that are answers. And this time, if you'll notice, we marked them as wrong or right answers. And then our submit button is not a answer, it's a link, it's a navigation. But we set that it's a conditional link. So what this means is in a normal, before this feature, you would just have this link and it would just always link and that would be your next button. But now, because we said we want it to be a conditional link and uh, what that means is it will only advance if after submitting and grading the card everything is correct then it will advance to the link that's specified here. If after scoring something is determined to be incorrect you can optionally link to another card which is this card here. Sorry wrong answer that we see over here. Now, I want to show you another place where this is super useful, and that's with fill in the blank. And this is probably the most compelling place. And here again, so we want to say that when you tap this answer, it's not an answer, it's a navigation button. And we want to link to, we're going to say this card. So that's actually the next card. So we could say just link to the next card, right? And only do that if it's correct. So we mark it's conditional. Now if we want to give a hint, we'd have to fill this up. But I don't 
necessarily need to give a hint. We're just going to let it roll. And so when we preview what this is going to look like to the student, the correct answer is dog. And they think, well, that's a cat, right? And so they hit next. And because there's not, it's, because it's a conditional link and it's wrong, it doesn't go anywhere. If we had a conditional, if it's wrong, linked to another card, we'd have linked there and give them the hint. But this is great because, again, in the old days, to do this, we'd have expected the student to tap the submit button. And then, after getting graded, they'd have to hit their navigation button. So now we've kind of wrapped it all up in one, so that when they type the correct answer and they submit, off they go. So that's it. That's the quick uh, introduction of how conditional flow magic works. We hope you love it.